Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can use HubDoc to automate your data collection and streamline your bank keeping with Xero. Now, HubDoc was a company, it used to be its own company, but then Xero bought it out and then Xero have made it free to um, a lot of their users. I'm not sure exactly um, if every subscription gets it or, yet, or if you have to be on a certain level of subscription to get it for free, but it is there available to most of their users. So what HubDoc does, it allows you to streamline your record keeping to keep your document collection in order uh, by having all your receipts, your bills um, in one place. It allows you to go paperless, so you're essentially storing it in the cloud uh, so you can do away with the paper copies. It allows you to automate your data entry in that after you bring the receipt into HubDoc, it has some machine learning, learning in place where it can predict the account codes that it goes to for a certain supplier and that sort of thing. And then once you enter it, publish it in HubDoc, it will flow through to zero and essentially automate your bank rec because the invoice has already been sent through, the attachment is included, and it'll flow through to your bank rec and zero as an already entered transaction that you just have to just tick off in the reconciliation screen. So it's pretty handy, uh, especially for keeping track of little receipts and that sort of thing. Um, so the basic process is you have HubDoc set up on your computer as a desktop application and you also have it set up as an app on your phone. Now what you can do is you can take a photo of a receipt on your phone and it'll flow through to the desktop application on your computer in HubDoc. You can also upload a document on your computer. Um, you can email to an address so if a bill comes through in your email, you can forward it onto an email address which they give you, which will bring it automatically into HubDoc. And you can also scan documents and then send them through to HubDoc from there. So I'm gonna show you a couple of examples here. I've got a couple of receipts we're gonna process and we're also gonna process a bill. First up I've got here, as you can see, United, that's a fuel receipt. So that's been scanned on the phone or just taken the photo on the phone. And then that's it, it just comes through automatically here in the to the review section. And we've also got um, an, an expense at Australia Post here. So it comes through here to the review section. Now we've got to have a look at it here. Uh, we can see it's 6609 and it's come through automatically, 6609 and the date, 11th of December. Yep, that's correct. So you just got to check that everything's correct. And then we come over to the right hand side here. We go document type, receipt. What I'm going to do, because I don't track small supplies as cards in my zero, I'm just going to put this through as MISC for miscellaneous, which I just use for small supplies when I'm doing spend money transactions and that sort of thing, where I don't necessarily want to track every single um, supplier um, as a different card file. So you can put in a reference number or an invoice number if you wish. The date's there, the due date not applicable in this instance, 6609, that's correct. We can see there, we'll go down and then we'll go zero. It says not configured, so we're gonna click down here. You've got this thing here called save configuration. So it says select save configuration to automatically apply the same categorization settings to new documents for this supplier. That's where if I do this now and I set up my account code and all that sort of thing down here, cost center and so forth. Next time I scan a receipt from the same supplier, it will um, automate it through to the same account settings. So as you can see here, it does it by supplier. Play, apply the same categorization settings to new documents for this supplier. So I haven't tested this, but my guess would be if I'm using this generic supplier miscellaneous here, that means if I did say I bought, um, paid for some catering for the business um, and used the mis miscellaneous supplier code, then that would probably, my guess would be, incorrectly automate it through to the fuel code here. because so we've used fuel for here and we've used the same supplier name. So you would want to review that before you um, process it and you probably would not want to use the auto sync if you're using a generic 
supply here for different types of expenses. So if I wanted to better utilize the uh, save configuration with the auto settings flowing through per supplier, then I, instead of using a miscellaneous generic category, I'd set up a, a different one for fuel or for United or something like that. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna change the supplier name to fuel because that's actually the card file I use for fuel. Um, and now we're gonna go down, we're gonna configure the account settings. So we're gonna publish as a spend money, but you can also do a purchase bill, an invoice, a sales invoice, or a credit note. This is a spend money. It's, it's just a receipt and the money's already been spent. The contact is going to be fuel, bank account, it's a single line item. So you can add in extra details if you wish. And there you go. This is a single account item, so I don't need to do that. The account code is motor vehicle expenses, cost center, that's just this, my standard cost center there. And I'm going to go publish. And that's disappeared off my review list. And then the next one we've got is Australia Post. So we're gonna click on that. So we've got 580 here on the 24th of the 12th. Document type is a receipt. Supply Australia Post. Date is correct. Dollar amount is correct. And we're going to per, uh, publish as a spend money again because the money's already been spent. It's not a bill to be paid. Contact is Australia Post. It was spent from the main business transaction account. It's a single line item. The account code is postage. Cost center. And you can put more info in here if you need to. I don't need to. So I'm going to publish that. And the review screen has now gone to no documents found. And then we can see these two items here that have been archived as published. So now we're going to go over to zero. And we're going to go have a look at this into the reconciliation screen. And here it is. You can see the reference HD, that's from HubDoc. And it's already matched up, so that was the fuel. So we didn't have to do anything, we just click OK. But the Australia Post item hasn't flowed, flowed through to the bank rec yet. So we're going to go have a look at that and see how it's come through to zero. Because it should have come through as a spend money transaction, and there it is. And we can see here, unreconciled. And the other thing to note here is you've got the attachment here. And it would have been the same with the other fuel expense. So we can see here, Australia Post, unreconciled. You can click here to go back to HubDoc and have a look at it. We've got postage and freight. We've got the attachment here. You can click on that. And there it is. And then when the bank rec item does flow through, on the bank feed, we'll be able to tick this off just like we did the other one. Now I'm also going to show you how you can upload a bill, okay? So you can send it to the email like I mentioned before, or you can upload it in the HubDoc desktop application. So what I'm gonna do here, so here you can see here, they give you an email to submit to where you can copy it to your clipboard and then copy it into your, your email interface and send it but I've got it ready here and I'm just gonna drag it over. So processing, completed. So we'll close that. I'll go back to review.
There it is, just took a couple of seconds. And there's the invoice there. So what we're gonna do in this instance, we're gonna upload it as an invoice. So you can also see all the other different kinds of documents you can upload here. It doesn't have to be um, bank transaction related items. You can do CSV files, purchase orders, statements, bank statements, all kinds of things. So it's a document type as an invoice, supplier, invoice number goes in there. So the date, the due date, the total amount, and we'll scroll down to the configuration. It's gonna go in as a purchase, not a spend money. And we're gonna put in as a draft bill because I wanna have a look at it before I approve it in zero. But you can also put it through as a waiting approval or approved and awaiting payment. We're gonna put it through as a draft. Okay, so we'll publish that. And there it goes. So as you can see as well, guys, you can also connect to different systems like QuickBooks. So we're going to go to our bills section to see if it's come through. We sent it through as a draft and there it is. CPA Australia, HubDoc reference. We're gonna click on that and the attachment will come up automatically here. There it is. So then you can just approve it and you're done. Simple as that. So HubDoc is very good for keeping all your receipts in one place. It is gonna make your accountant or your bookkeeper, if they're external, or not even external, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna make their jobs a lot easier, especially when they're chasing up more detail on transactions, wanting to know exactly what it was for, what the GST was, on, what, what it was on it and that sort of thing. If you just take your phone app with you and take a photo of all the receipts whenever you spend money on your debit card, then your accountant and your bookkeeper will love you for that. It will make the job so much easier. It's gonna keep everything in order for your document collection. It's gonna speed up your data entry. It's gonna speed up your bank rec. It's gonna create a very clear audit trail. So whenever you're going back and needing to pull out a receipt for something, whatever it may be, you're gonna know exactly where it is straight away. Particularly also if you're applying for different kinds of grants and things and you have gotta show your proof of purchase for whatever it may be, your receipts are right there. You don't have to dig through your paper archives trying to find things. You're gonna be able to find it with a click of a couple of buttons. So I think it's very good in that respect. I've only just started using it myself, but I think I'm gonna start using it more. Um, and definitely recommend it to clients a lot more as well. It will um, make their job and my job a lot easier. So there you go, guys. Just an introductory look at HubDoc and how that can link to zero and how that can make your bookkeeping life a lot easier, a lot cleaner, and will keep you all above board as far as your record keeping requirements go. All right, thanks a lot, guys. If you want to book in a training session, head over to the description. You'll find a link there to our website. We can book in a, uh, a tailored training session around whatever you need to have done out at your workplace. Um, hit us up, we'll have a chat and we'll see what we can do. Other than that, guys, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you on the next one.